If you're in the market for a full-size hybrid luxury sedan, because, you know, you care about the environment but still want to roll around in the lap of luxury, today you've got three options. There's the BMW 745e, Mercedes-Benz S560e, and then this Lexus LS500h. Unlike the Germans, which are plug-in hybrids, the car from Japan will try to win you over with its multi-stage mild hybrid hardware, along with a heavy helping of styling and an absolutely gorgeous interior. On the outside, the LS that was all new last year strikes a distinctive but polarizing pose. The majority of the front is the spindle grille, with the sides dressed with wavy character lines, and then there's no shortage of creases on the back end. The German competition looks conservative compared to the LS that spews character. So if you're after an expressive wrapper, the Lexus is for you. In the cabin, you discover both the LS's best and worst attributes. The good is the fresh styling, like the floating look of the armrests and all the flowing lines on the dash. It's all built from some really nice stuff, like soft stitch leather and ultra suede everywhere. And there's no shortage of room in the front and the back, with the driver especially spoiled with the massaging seat. The bag comes from the Lexus Inform infotainment system with a dreaded remote touch controller that's distracting to use when driving. And since the 12.3 inch screen isn't a touch screen, you have to use the pad for most things like adjusting the heated and cooled seats that's buried deep into the interface and enter navigation destinations. Inform did add Apple CarPlay and Amazon Alexa to its arsenal for 2019 though, so that's good. But for a closer look at the infotainment and safety tech features in the LS, you can refer to a separate tech check video for that. But the biggest thing about this LS500H is its mild hybrid drivetrain. It combines a 3.5 liter V6 with two electric motors, producing a net output of 354 horsepower. This car is equipped with all-wheel drive and hits 60 miles per hour in 5.2 seconds according to Lexus, and that's not bad for a near 5100 pound car. An EV mode is capable of getting the hybrid moving at slow speeds, but the engine is quick to fire seamlessly when you go deeper into the throttle, and power itself isn't bad. How power is delivered to the wheels is a little bit of a different story. The gearbox is a continuously variable transmission mashed together with a 4-speed automatic that together do their best to simulate a 10-speed transmission. When the car is in normal mode, throttle response is sluggish, and it does get caught up at times deciding out what gear to go into. Things do get better in Sport and Sport Plus modes, however, and manually selecting gears is fairly snappy. Still, you can feel that there's a lot going on still with some lag at throttle tipping. The BMW 745e that I just recently drove with a normal automatic transmission felt so much better and normal in comparison. But the benefit of getting a hybrid LS over the normal gasser is better fuel economy, of course. With all-wheel drive, it returns an EPA-estimated 23 miles per gallon in the city and 31 miles per gallon on the highway. That betters the gas-only LS 500's 18 mile per gallon city and 27 mile per gallon highway figures. So that's not a bad efficiency bump. Without question, and not surprisingly, the car is at its best as a comfortable and quiet cruise ship. The drivetrain isn't annoying when you're taking it slow, and the optional air suspension damps out most bumps you'll encounter. Light but responsive enough steering and a well-tuned regen brakes that aren't overly grabby or squishy also help make the drive experience smooth and relaxed. Sport and Sport Plus modes do tighten up the chassis a little, but it's still far from an enthralling ride. There's still noticeable body roll, and the reflexes still aren't that great, which is fine because I don't think many people considering an LS hybrid have sporty dynamics at the top of their wish list. But comfort? Yeah. And this Lexus definitely has it. The 2019 Lexus LS 500h starts at $79,960 with rear-wheel drive, while all-wheel drive tax on an additional $3,220. That means in the large luxury hybrid sedan segment, it's quite a bit more affordable than the BMW that begins at $95,000. The Benz hasn't hit dealers just yet, but I wouldn't be shocked if it's priced closely with the Beamer. Again, keep in mind the Germans are plug-ins with some actual electric driving range capabilities, though. 
but like most high-end vehicles, throwing some options at the Lexus can drive the price tag up in a hurry. All in, this car sitting here stickers at a little over $97,000. What would I do? Well, if I had the means, I'd rather go with the BMW. It isn't as comfortable, but the drivetrain is much smoother and a bit more fun to wheel around when leaned on. But for people looking for a plush, stylish, and slightly more affordable hybrid cruiser for around town, I wouldn't blame them if they ended up with a Lexus.